Hi all, welcome back. By now, we all know that in SEM, we propose a causal model and compare the model implied matrix with the observed matrix to get the estimated values of those unknown parameters. If we are working with the, a unstandardized model, the parameters we need to estimate include pass coefficients, the uh, variances and covariances of those exogenous variables, and the disturbance variances of endogenous variables. In the M plus output file, uh, we can see there are significant tests for all the estimate parameters. However, direct comparison between variables and between relationships are not feasible because they are scale dependent. And when variables have different scales, we cannot compare the strengths of the relationships or the amount of variance explained in the variables. If we are working with a standardized model, the parameters that we need to estimate include um, task coefficients, the correlations between those exogenous variables, and the disturbance of the endogenous variables. One advantage of a standardized model is the feasibility to make a comparisons between parameters of the same kind. For example, in causal models, we are often interested in learning which effects are stronger and what are the differences between the direct effect and the indirect effect between a pair of variables. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you get the values of the direct, indirect, and total effects between variables and summarize and present the information in the table. The direct effect between two variables is simply the pass coefficient of that direct causal structural relationship. You can see in this model, we have four direct effect. I know it's hard for you to read those variable names, but this one from exercise to fitness, from fitness to illness, from hardness to stress, and from stress to illness. The indirect effect between an exogenous variable and endogenous variable is this type of causal relationship that goes through additional third, fourth, or even fifth variables. Mathematically, the value of the indirect effect between two variables is the product of those direct effects that connect them. When you add up all the direct and indirect effects between a pair of variables, you get the total effect between them. The total effect is just the amount of association between the two variables based on the model relationships you proposed. The way you interpret the values of the direct, indirect, and total effect is the same as we interpret the regression coefficient values. Now I'm going to use this model as example to show you how to get the values of those effects from the output file and put them in the table. To begin, it would be really helpful for you to prepare a table like this. In the first column, you list all the endogenous variables from your model. In the second column, for each of the endogenous variables you have, identify and list the exogenous variables that have either direct or indirect effect on that endogenous variable. Then you add three columns under the section standardized effect. 
also three columns under the section on standardized effect. The three columns should be named as direct effect, indirect effect, and total effect, as we have here. Now, run your analysis, and in the M plus output file, find the section labeled as model results. In this section, you are provided with the estimated values of those model parameters. For example, fitness on exercise. Fitness is your endogenous variable, exercise is the exogenous variable, and the direct effect between the two, the unstandardized value is 0.216. So you are going to copy this value and put the value in the right position in this table for fitness as the endogenous variable, exercise as exogenous variable, and this is the unstandardized direct effect, 0.216. Follow the same steps. You will put this negative 0.406 as the direct effect from hardness to stress in the unstandardized section. Fitness and stress also have direct impact on illness, and you copy those two values and put them here in the table. Because exercise and hardness do not have direct effect on illness, so you gave zeros as the direct effect for those two variables. Remember, in your model, there's no indirect effect from exercise to fitness, no indirect effect from hardness to stress. So in this table, for the indirect effect, you put down zero for those two pairs of variables. Similarly, from fitness to illness, from stress to illness, there is no indirect effect. So you need to put zeros down here as well. Remember, there are two indirect effects in this model. One is from exercise through fitness to illness. The other is from hardness through stress to illness, which means the indirect effect from exercise to illness is a product of 0.216 and negative 0.424. And the indirect effect from hardness to illness is negative 0.406 times 0.287. This is how I do it in the table. So for the indirect effect from exercise to illness, I get the product of the direct effect from fitness to illness and the direct effect from exercise to fitness. And the value is negative 0 0.092. The indirect effect from hardness to illness is a product of the direct effect from stress to illness and from hardness to stress. The value is a negative 0.117. For each pair of the variables, you add up the direct and indirect effects, you get the total effects. In our example, it happens that between a pair of variables, there is either a direct effect or indirect effect, but not both at the same time. This is a special case. We see more of a situation like both direct and indirect effects are non-zero values. For example, if we add a pass from stress to fitness, there will be a direct effect from stress to illness as well as an indirect effect from stress to illness through fitness. Let's go back to our M plus output file and look at the standardized solution. You can copy the direct effect values from the output to the table you created 
So the direct effect from exercise to fitness is 0.39, and the direct effect from hardness to stress is negative 0.23, and the direct effect from fitness to illness is a negative 0.253, and finally from stress to illness, the value is 0.311. Remember, we're working on the standardized effects now. Repeat the same steps we did for the unstandardized effect. You can find the indirect effect from hardness to illness as the product of the two direct effects that made this indirect effect. I'm confident that now you know how to get the value of the indirect effect between exercise and illness. Add up the direct and indirect effect, you get the total effect, okay? We have complete the manual calculation of the direct, indirect, and total effects for this entire model. It's time to learn how to get the indirect effects in M plus using the command file. All you need to do is to add several lines in your model section. After you specify the model structure, add a subcommand model indirect column and the indirect relationships in the format like here. Start the line with the name of your endogenous variable, then the keyword IND, which stands for indirect, and this line with your exogenous variable, and in between you have the variables that connect your exogenous variable with the endogenous variable in this indirect relationship. In our example, there are two indirect relationships. The first one, illness is the endogenous variable, hardness is the exogenous variable, and stress is the mediation variable between them. The second indirect relationship has illness as the endogenous, exercise as the exogenous, and fitness is the variable between them. Add those lines to your command file, save, and run the analysis. In the output file, after the model solutions, you have the section that's called total, total indirect, and specific indirect and direct effects. We have both unstandardized and standardized solutions as well. You can see here the two indirect effect values are the same as our hand calculation result. In one case, the two numbers have a little bit rounding difference. The same thing happened for the standardized solution. Getting the values of those indirect effects in M plus not only save you time, but also provide you with test of significant for those indirect effects. You can see here, both indirect effects are statistically significant. Once you complete this table with all the standardized and unstandard effects, you need to decide how to present this information in your final report. I recommend you only present the standardized effects because those are the numbers that are comparable. For example, based on the information in this table, the variable that has strongest impact on illness is stress because the total effect is 0.311, which is higher than all the other three variables. In the meantime, the strongest direct effect is from exercise to fitness because the value is 0.39, highest among all direct effect. And this means for one standard deviation increase in exercise, Fitness will increase by about 0.39 standard deviation, holding all other variables constant. There are different formats for you to present this information. You can choose the one that makes more sense for you.